guys. So today's video, I actually have a guest. Who are you? Hi Chad, I'm Jose Vancouver. So a lot of reviewers actually know Jose from all the comments. Man, you watch a ton of videos. Well, you know what? There's some great reviews on YouTube, Chad. You, you've been around for a long time. Though. You're like, when it comes to like subscribers, you're, you're one of the OGs. <laughs> yeah, I think I am, <laughs> for sure. For sure. So Jose is actually here in Toronto. We, and we decided to link up and uh, do a couple of videos. So today we're going to get Jose's thoughts on from the House of Baldessarini, and we're going to be doing it strictly private. So I actually sprayed on this on Jose's hand about 10 minutes ago. So this fragrance was launched in 2009, but what do you get out of this? Like, what kind of notes do you get? Okay, let me just give it a quick, another quick sniff. It just dried down a little bit, chat. <laughs> and, you know, did my first impressions too. Just, okay. It's got a bit of a soft vibe to it. I can smell it off your wrist though. Yeah, oh, without a doubt. It, it does project, but it's it's not harsh. It's got a more, a more of a softer opening. But you're also wearing something else, which is what? I'm wearing Creative Ventus <laughs> as well. <laughs> Uh, so we created a whole new blend here, Chad. Yeah, no okay. Yeah. <laughs> but having said that, for sure, I can definitely smell some vanilla. Okay. I believe there's some vanilla, That's, some spices. Okay, well, uh, vanilla is definitely one of the notes. And there's almost like a vibe of rose, for sure. Very much so. That's actually one of the main notes. All right, so the top notes for this fragrance are basil, bergamot, juniper, and pink pepper with the mid being vetiver, resin, patchouli, and rose. And the base is... Vanilla, amber, and cedar. Now, what do I get? So I get lots of rose. Like this is kind of like yeah. the type of scent, like the rose scent, where you're being beat over the head by a bouquet, but it's not like uh, Amouage Lyric Man, is it? I believe it's Lyric Man. Yeah, so it's not like that. There's a ton of rose in the scent, but it's not over the top. There is a lot, but I also get a lot of vanilla, some resins, um, a balsamic type of feel as yeah. well. Yeah. But I also get a little bit of the woods in the dry down. Now, this fragrance, like, what do you think of it? Like, do you think it's classy? Is it feminine? What? You know what? The, in a way, Chad, it's a little bit of everything you just kind of mentioned. Okay, so, all right. It's classy, for okay. sure. It, I can see this. Well, it's not, I wouldn't say this is feminine, but I think the rose maybe gives it that slightly feminine edge to it. It's not a very masculine scent, right? I would agree. Okay. So I find it's very classy, it's elegant, it's very formal, um, and it's very sophisticated. Now, according to Fragrantica, Baldessarini was trying to go a different route with this scent. They're trying to cater more so to a man that has more of a look, uh, more of an expensive feel, who, who lives a bit of a playboy lifestyle. Like, and that's not my words, that's actually according to Fragrantica. And that just <laughs> likes the expensive things. and. This scent kind of does smell somewhat expensive. Yeah, it does. You know? It does. So, uh, Seasons, what would you say, say that this one is? You know, to me, this is probably something I would wear fall, winter, cool springs. Okay, yeah. For sure. And, yeah, I probably, you could wear this definitely in the evenings as well. Too, oh, too. yeah. No, this I've, is more of an evening scent. Yeah, it does come across that, but I think that you can't pull this one off in the daytime. Occasions, what would you wear this one? I wear this um, night out. Possibly in the office as well too, because it's not a super. It it's got a bit of a soft but more pronounced projection to it as well. Okay, yeah. Um, I think that this would be a very good office scent for a boss. You know, if yeah. you if you're like a, a CEO or you're in like a high position, this is pretty much like a boss scent. Uh, it's formal, definitely formal. I think it's like black tie, tuxedo, but also just a going out scent. Yeah. You know, so. Uh, longevity was actually very good. Now, I wasn't really expecting much with this one, but longevity was 9 to 10 hours and projection was 3 to 4. So you get a bit of a subtle vibe on it. Now, when it comes to prices, so this is actually a cheapie and a goodie. So online, you can get this for as low as 25 bucks to as wow. high as $35. Wow. You know, very classy scent. You know, That's good value. It's, yeah, it's budget friendly. Yeah. So. Uh, thoughts on this one. So some people thought it was luxurious, expensive smelling, uh, refined, and a few people thought it was a little bit too rosy and a little bit too, um, uh, what they said, old hag. <laughs> <laughs> so it's yeah. definitely not going to work for everybody. The, the fiancé, however, surprisingly, really liked this one. Hey, and that's important. Exactly. <laughs> so I originally was not going to keep this one. You know, I, I liked it. It was a blind buy for me. I liked it, but I wasn't really impressed. And the more as I wore it, I was like, this I could actually see keeping my collection. So, what are the final thoughts on, on this one? You know what? This is a great scent. Very good value, Chad. Mm -hmm. I'd have to say, 
to me, age range would be about 25 and up. Okay. I think it has more of a mature vibe to it. Yeah, yeah this is definitely a gentleman's sense. Yeah. You know, someone who carries himself a little bit better and someone who is maybe a little bit older. Or if you're a young person who has his shit together. Yeah, I would you know? agree. So yeah, um, me, I, I actually really like this one and I'm not a rose-based fan. I really don't like my rose-based fragrances. However, this one, I am absolutely keeping. So is that it? That's it, this is a great set. And uh, you know what, Chad? Really good value set. I'm really glad you actually put my nose, deep. let me put my nose on this as well. So fragrance, fragrance net right now, 25 bucks. Awesome. All right, so we got Jose's thoughts. Thank you very much, Jose. And that was our review of Baldessarini Strictly Private. So if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Share the video, subscribe if you haven't, and thanks again. Take care. See you, everyone.